We all know that Raid Shadow Legends is heavily a statistics game. Everything that you're going to do in Raid relies on you having stats, and your stats are going to come from your gear. So it is important that you learn how to manage your gear properly and to know which pieces of gear are worth investing in. So I knew that starting the game, I would not really invest or keep my one to three star gear. So at best, I would bring it up to eight and then I would just leave it there because I knew that four star gear was going to be coming quite soon. Now I'm at the point where I don't even keep four star gear. So how do I know that I'm at the point where I can start letting my four star and below pieces go? The other thing that I also started started getting rid of is my common and uncommon gear. So the gray and the green gear, I don't bother keeping that anymore because you only get certain stats, substats. So for example, let, let me try to explain it and articulate it better. For common pieces of gear, you don't get any substats until you level up to level four, and then you'll get a new bonus substat on common you only get the first substat unlocked and then you could probably actually yeah you, you would once you bring this up to level four you get a bonus to that but i don't keep these anymore because i'm at the point where i can get rare gear which has two substats unlocked and epic which has three substats unlocked and then legendary um, you know, you get the full four. There is something that I've said quite often. If you watch my other gearing videos, I often say this. I talk about leaving stats on the table. You don't want to leave stats on the table, as it were. So for an example, let's say I have this piece of gear and it has accuracy on it. Let me just roll it up so you guys can see. This would roll up to 18 and that's it. There is no chance that this will ever double up so right here it says one it's never going to be a two or a three it's not going to roll a double or a triple unlike for example this rathalos helmet rolled a triple i am going to get a lot more stat bonuses from having a double or a triple meaning i'm going to be getting a lot more stats into attack in this specific case more so than i would if i had a even even if i had a rare rarity helmet i could only roll a double and this right here shows 13 it's never going to be an 18 or anything because it's just a rare piece so that's why i don't bother keeping gray or green gear anymore because you're just leaving stats on the table you're not accessing as much of the stats available to you within the game so autom automatically i'm selling this and i don't invest in this anymore four star i don't even keep now this is not the end all be all of what it is to gear cleanse in raid or manage your gear this is how i manage my gear and even in the end game what i do is i don't keep this all of this gets sold automatically on my on my main account i don't keep anything from one to five star and i don't keep anything from gray to blue and for epics, I'm very specific about what I what I keep. So right here from one to four, I'm going to automatically sell it. Don't even bother putting any silver towards it, especially in this game where silver is so finite and it's always going to be low, especially if you aren't farming um, spider yet. You don't want to put any silver towards something that you know that you're not going to keep. Let me, let me, I, I know I went off tangent, but let me bring things back. How do I know that I'm at that point where I can just only keep five star gear and blue and purple gear and above? By the way, thank you for the lucky 777 subs. Well, I look at the dungeons. What am I farming? What am I capable of farming? Ideally, you'd want to be farming these dungeons at 100%. That's not always going to be the case. If it's not the case and you're only farming at like 80%, I would suggest dropping stages. Don't don't settle for like 80% win rates. You want like like 98, 97% and above for a win rate. And even then, that's kind of like, oh man, I don't know. I wouldn't really want to do that. I would rather drop down and um, farm something lower. But here I can do stage 12, 40 seconds. It's reliable. I know I can do it. I can get my four to five star pieces of gear. In the beginning, you're going to start off by only being able to access one to two star pieces of gear. Then you go up to three and then four. And then eventually you get to stage seven. I'd say stage seven is a good stopping point 
that you might be capped out at with your roster or with your gear and then you could start farming here consistently but you eventually want to move up to 10 where you don't even bother getting three star gear anymore you get four to five and now i'm at stage 12 what i want to do is get to stage 13 because once i get to stage 13 i can start getting four to six star gear six star gear is where things start to change once i start farming stage th um, once i start farming stage 13 I will start to consider maybe leaving some five-star pieces alone. But this is how I know I can let go of three and below or four and below. I'm only keeping five-star gear now. Or if you go to Fire Knight, uh, it's the same thing. If I could get... I don't have the champions yet, but if I decided to start working towards Fire Knight, I would start letting go of my four star pieces and below once i got to stage 10 same thing with spider i'm stuck on stage 10 oh actually there's a thing about stage 10 if you didn't know there is a bug that gives you an increased chance to receive five star accessories so this is a good spot to farm spider if that's where you're at it does take a lot longer in fact like twice the amount of time over than it is than it does for me to take stage nine if you're wondering where i got all these special pieces of gear CVC and the free forge pass. Now what I'm going to do is run through some of the gear, come on this gear cleanse with me, and you'll see what I'm looking for in terms of stats. I'll do a couple pieces because I don't want to be here for two hours showing you guys every single piece of gear. In fact, let me know if you guys want me to do a gear tier list where I talk about exactly what it sounds like. Gear that I rank like S rank gear versus F tier gear. All right, so we'll do we'll do the speed sets, speed speed set because I, I am fond of speed gear. I think everybody should be gunning for speed gear. So what I do here, right? I look at the substats that I have on here: accuracy and crit rate. Now, accuracy and crit rate are important substats to have. They're important stats to have, and I would be interested in having them on my account at this level. And so what I'll do is I'll roll them up to eight to begin with i'm looking for doubles now i did get one ones but where my account uh where my the where my account is at currently this is okay if i was at the point where i could farm six star gear and if it wasn't a speed piece i probably would not be like let like let's say i i got that on like a dazed set a piece of f tier for me i don't like day sets like let's say i rolled a one 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 here or even let's say this was a blue rarity piece and i got one ones i probably wouldn't be interested in keeping it but if i rolled a double i might because look we got 15 percent on on a double roll for the helmet not the best helmet but this is pretty decent right i don't like this particular helmet because it's redundant you have defense and then attack those don't always coincide. It's a very niche thing to have. and But we do have speed. Anyway, let, I digress. I come back. All right. So this is okay. One, because it's on a speed set. Two, because accuracy and crit rate are, especially in the early game, sorely needed stats. Keeping this one because we rolled a double on the HP. Attack and speed are huge, especially early on. So we're keeping that. Accuracy and attack. Keeping that for the same reasons. And then we have double accuracy and then speed. That's okay. That's actually pretty good. Resistance is a good set, uh, good stat to have as well. So we're keeping that. Same thing here. Resistance, not my favorite. See, resistance is something that has a bigger role, I feel, more so in the end game. Late game to end game. Because that's when you're fighting the harder dungeons, the you know, dungeons where you need to have higher resistance or you're, where you're going to want higher resistance or in plat arena if you're pushing plat or you're in the higher tiers of arena you're going to want to have a lot of resistance early on i don't think that resistance is too important unless you care a lot about pvp early on but like generally speaking this is not it's kind of trash this is a trash ish piece but we're keeping it for now mainly because it is a speed shield. HP and defense, a good stronky, stronky uh, shield. Let's go ahead and roll this up. Again, we're looking for doubles. We got double defense. I like that. It rolled on a 16. 
by the way, guys, when it comes to what numbers are considerably good, what I usually go for is 17 and above. So let me explain. Percentage stats. Right here, I rolled a 17 on a double. That is good to me. That is something that I would keep. When it comes to flat stats, flat favorable stats, um, accuracy and resistance, I think 32 and above are good rolls. So this is a 28. This is like on the low end, which is another reason why I don't particularly like the shield, but I'm going to keep it because it's speed. It could be a good filler piece. If this was a 32, I think I would be more inclined to want to keep it. Here we got the 17. It's the same thing, by the way, for speed. If I rolled a 17, a double, I don't know if I could do that. Can I roll a double? Do I have any? Let me see some speed. Let's see some speed. Hold on. What are my speed rolls at? Nine, 13. I got a 13 here. Got a 12 on a double. 18. Let me see the equipped gear here on. I got a 16. Okay, so we can get. Oh, that's on a six star piece of gear. Oh, that's bad. It's a bad piece. 13 triple res so no, is there anything to write home to mother about triple attack 14 we got a 14 on that one Fourteen. yeah so i'd say uh, for five-star gear, it's looking like 15 and 16 is going to be good. But on six-star pieces of gear, rank six gear, 17 is also something that I look for. <clears throat> so I, who had it? Right here, we rolled a 16. That would be okay, barely, on my main account. But if I rolled a 17 and above, that's also something. So for speed, percentage stats like attack, defense, I look for 17 and above. For flat favorable stats, like resistance and accuracy, I'm looking for 32 and above, or something around that area. Obviously, flat stats such as attack or flat HP are non-favorable stats, but some, but for the most part, you're not going to be able to, to help it. You just want to make sure you don't do a, a triple... What's, what did I see? I saw... You don't want this. You don't want a double flat stat. This is an instant sell for me, but I guess I didn't have any other pieces at the time that I put this on um magmar or magnus whatever his name is <coughs> right here this is this is pretty bad defense percentage with double flat hp this is a cell but i think what i'm doing is hoping to get an epic ore and try to rework that here we have attack what I would like to roll here is a triple crit damage. That's what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and roll it. Let's not get 111s. One, one, okay, we got a double crit damage. We landed on 16. Remember, we're looking for something close to 17. 17 and above is ideal, but if it's around 17, we'll take it. We'll settle for it. So this is good. This is a good piece to keep. Defense. Got double defense with low-end res. Ugh. But it is what it is. It's defense and attack. We got 1-1s. One we don't want 1-1s, one but it is what it is. The best way to do this is to not let your gear get close to 1,500. Don't let it get capped out. I don't know what you're saying. Like, your gear is never going to get there. Trust me, it'll get there if you don't manage your gear properly. I've had a few times where I've almost maxed out my gear. If you watch a lot of the endgame players or other CCs, their gear often looks like this. A lot of the time, we're sitting at over a thousand. Of course, you want to wait for artifact enhancement or CVC. Those are two times that I particularly like to roll my gear up and see uh, what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. Ah, uh, but yes, this is a common problem. You want to roll up all your pieces of gear, but you have no silver. Well, guess what? I got the remedy for you. Here is where I farm silver, and check this video out right there.